Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister and Prophet M.G. May, so let us begin in prayer. Father, we come to you. We thank you. We praise you. We thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, as we learn, we, we grow, as we grow, we uh, gain, and we do and become better people from all these things. And we thank you, Lord. We praise you. I bless, I bless the sick and may they recover. I ask for the, the deliverance on the people that are wanting to stop smoking or the green stuff or any drugs, alcohol. Father, I ask for your deliverance uh, over them now. And I thank you, Father, and I thank you, Lord, for all the people going to get saved and renew their lives through you today. We thank you and praise you. Amen. All right, well, today we're doing the, the, Torah, the Torah literature series some more. And today's lesson is called Torah, Bershat Bet. Torah meaning the good teachings of God. A lot of people translate it as law that's down the line, but the top wording for Torah is good teachings because that's what it is. A Bershat Bet, a Bershat meaning a creation or uh, the beginning of something. Uh, bet is uh, second place or number two, but second place is. And so, like I said before, 1 through 11 is uh, uh, post, uh, 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 yeah, post creation, then pre, no, pre creation, then post creation is uh, 12 through 50 that we've been studying on. And Veishkish, uh, Veishkish, which means he uh, approached. But we're, the uh, title of this is Israel took everything. Israel took everything. And where we're going to go is Genesis chapter 46, 1 through 34, 47, 1 through 27. We stop at that verse of 27. Of that chapter. So let us begin. And the word of God speaketh and saith, Israel took everything he owned with him on the journey, and he arrived at Berasheva and offered a sacrifice to the, the God of, of his father Isaac and and in the vision at night, God called to Israel, Jacob, Jacob. He answered, Here am I. And he says, I am the God, the God of your fathers. Don't be afraid to go down to Egypt. It is there that I will also bring you back here again. And after Yosef has closed your eyes. And so Jacob left Barashav. The sons of Israel brought Jacob, their father, and their little ones, their wives, and their wagons. The Pharaoh had sent and carried them. And they took their cattle and their possessions with which they had acquired in the land of Canaan and arrived in Egypt. And Jacob and, and all their descendants with him his sons, his grandsons, his daughters, the granddaughters, and all the descendants in the, the brought with him to Egypt. Amen. And and there are the names of Israel's children who came into Egypt, Jacob and his sons. Reuben, uh, Jacob's firstborn, and the, the sons of Reuben, Henik, uh, 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 Pelu, uh, Hazaron, and Karmi. The sons of Sh Shimon, Simon, uh, Yomiel, uh, Yamin, Hode, uh, Yakin, uh, Tezchar and Shulo, and the, the sons of the Canaanite woman, and the sons of Levi, 
uh, Gershon, uh, Caret, and Murray. The sons of y Yoda are uh, Hohen, uh, Shilik, uh, Perez, and Zerich. But Ur and Omen, Amen, died in the land of Canaan. The sons of uh, of Perez were uh, Hezron and Heru. And then the sons of Issachar, Tolai, uh, Perlev, uh, Yovo, and Sh uh, Shibron. And the sons of uh, Zephyrel were uh, Sirid, Elon, and Yojel. And there were the children of Leah, whom she bore to Jacob and Peleg Aram. And with his daughter uh, D Dina and, and some of his sons and daughters, numbering 33. No, yeah, 33. And then the sons of Gat, uh, Tezovion, uh, Hege, uh, Shuni, uh, Ad Saban, Ira, Aradi, and Arai, the children of Asher, Yeriah, uh, Yishva, uh, Yishvi, uh, Barea, and then the sister, Sirich. And, and the sons of Bure were Hevi and um, Melchiah. Oh. And those who were the children of Zephapah, whom uh, Levan gave to Leah, and his uh, daughter she bore from Jacob, 16 people. And the sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Yosef, and Benjamin. To be Yosef, in the land of Egypt, were born um, uh, Ephraim and Man Manasseh, in whom uh, Osnet, the daughter of, of Polyphereer, the priest of On born to him. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, uh, Keher, and Ashbel, Gura, uh, Nephemim, and Nietzsche, Arosh, uh, Nephem, uh, Hempen, and Ard. These were the children of uh, Rachel who were born to Jacob, to the sum of fourteen people. Then the son of Dan, uh, Harashim, and then the son of Nephtali, uh, Yetzirah, uh, Gini, uh, Yazar, and, and Shalimi. And these were the sons of Bahel, whom uh, Levim gave to Rachel, his daughter, and she born from Jacob in the sums of seven people. And all the people belonging to Jacob came to into Egypt, uh, direct descendants, not counting Jacob's sons' wives, totaling 66. And the sons of Yosef born to him in Egypt were two in the number, and thus all the people of Jacob's family who entered Egypt numbered uh, 70. And Jacob sent uh, Judah ahead of him to Yosef, so that the, la the later might guide him on the road to Geshem. Thus they arrived to the land of Geshem. Uh, Yosef prepared 
his chariots and went to up to Goshen to meet Israel, his father. And he presented him to him, uh, to him embraced him, wept on his neck for a long time. And Israel said to Yosef, Now I can die because I have seen your face and seen that you are still alive. And Yosef said to his brothers and his father's family, I am going up to Egypt, I mean to the Pharaoh. I am going to tell the Pharaoh. And I'll say to him, my brothers and my family, father's family who were in the land of Canaan have come to me. And the, the men are, are shepherds and keepers of livestock. And they have brought their uh, flocks, their herds, and all their possessions. Now when the Pharaoh summons you and asks, what is your occupation? Tell him, your servant and, and bank keeper of the livestock from our youth until now. Both we and our ancestors, this will ensure that you will live in the land of Goshen, for the shepherds is a neighbor to Egyptians. And then Yosef went in the land and took told the Pharaoh, my father, my brothers have come from the land of Canaan with their flocks and livestock and all their possessions. Right now, they are in the land of Goshen. And he took five of the brothers to present them to the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh said to his brothers, what is your obligation? And they answered the Pharaoh, your servants are shepherds, both we and our ancestors. And they added, We have come to live in your land, because in the land of Can uh, Canaan there is no place, our pasture in, in the servants' flock. The famine is too so severe there. Therefore, please let your servant live in the land of Goshen. The Pharaoh said to Joseph, Your father and brothers have come to you. The land of Egypt lies before you. Have your father and your brothers live on the best property to the country. And let them live in the land of Goshen. Moreover, if you know that some of them are particularly um, complete, but put them in charge of my livestock. And Yosef, they brought uh, Jacob, his father, to present him to the Pharaoh. And Yosef blessed the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh asked Yosef, how old are you? And Yosef replied, the time of my stay on earth has been 130 years. And they've been, been few and difficult. Fewer than the years of my answer lived. And Yosef blessed the Pharaoh and left in his presence. And uh, Yosef uh, found a place for his father. Uh, yeah, that was Jacob, sorry. But Yosef found a place for his father and brother and gave him property in the land of Egypt and in the best regions of the country in the land of uh, Arezim as the Pharaoh had ordered and Yosef provided food for his father and his brothers and all his fam father's household took full care of even the youths. Therefore uh, was no food anywhere, for the famine was very since severe, so that both Egypt and Canaan grew weak from hunger. And Yosef collected all the money there was in Egypt and Canaan to ex exchange for grain, and they bought and put the money in the Pharaoh's treasury. Then all the money in the Egypt had been spent, and all likewise in Canaan. And all the Egyptians approached Yosef and said, Give us something to eat. Even though we have no money, they should. We, why should we 
die before your eyes. And Yosef replied, Give me your livestock, and if you don't have money, and, and I will give you food in exchange for your livestock. So that they brought Yosef their livestock. And Yosef gave them food in exchange for, for their horses, their flocks, the cattle, and the donkeys. And all the, the years he provided them with food in exchange for all their livestock. And then they, the years was over. They approached Yosef again and said to him, We won't hide from my Lord that all our money is spent and our the herds and the livestock belong to, to my Lord, and we have nothing left. And as the Lord said, can see, but our bodies and our lands, and they should, why should we die before your eyes, both we and our lands? Buy, a, buy us our lands for food, and we in our lands will be enslaved to the Pharaoh, but also give us seeds to plant so that we can stay alive and not die, so that the land won't become barren. So that the Yosef acquired all the land of, of Egypt for the Pharaoh, and as one by one the Egyptians sold their fields. Because the famine weighed on them so severely, Thus the land became the property of the Pharaoh. And as for the people, he reduced them to uh, certain cities by city, for one end of Egypt territory to the other. And only the priest's land did not acquire, because the priests were entitled to provisions from the Pharaoh. And they are they ate from the Pharaoh providing them. Therefore, they did not sell their land. And then the Yosef said to the people, As of today I require you and your land for the Pharaoh. Here is the seed for you to sow of the land. And when the harvest time comes, you are to give 20% to the Pharaoh, even percentage, and will be yours to keep as seed to plant in the fields, as well as for your food, for that of your household and little ones. And they replied, you have saved our lives. So if it pleases my Lord, we will be the Pharaoh's employees. And he also made it a law for the country of Egypt to, to valid uh, to this day, that the Pharaoh should have 20% only of the property belonging to the, to the, to the priest uh, did not become the Pharaoh's. And Israel lived in the land of Egypt 70 years and they acquired possessions in it and were uh, productive and their numbers multiply greatly. So there you go. So sometimes we have to be clever because there are so many people that won't be clever that because they they live their lives in worry and all the what I would like to call the toxic emotions of this world. And so we have to stay level headed like Yosef did. In the time of, of famine or the time of troubles or the time of whatevers, we have to be the ones that seek the Lord and find a way that, that will take care of the people in need. And, and that time is, is here. Well, church or synagogue, kingdom of Israel, where a lot of the world is going through a spiritual famine as well as a natural famine. A lot of the nations don't see it yet, but they all, the whole world will be in a famine. This is Revelation and elsewhere in the prophets say, and the end days would happen. And so we will have to be the wise ones, you know, and we will be 
become the true leaders that God has appointed each one of us to be in the church, in the synagogue, in the kingdom of Israel. And so we need to be wise and understand how to be productive and help the people just like Yosef did. And so my prayer today is for your churches and synagogues to be strengthened in understanding of how the wisdom of God was on Yosef's life to, to help others. Even though it looks like at first glance that it was kind of a harsh way to resolve it, but it isn't because he allowed them to have 80% of the crops. He, he gave them crops. They didn't have nothing. And yes, they gave their land up. Yes, they gave their cattle up. But they still could work the land. And they still could get 80% of the crops that were. And all that seed came from the Pharaoh. And, and so, in a sense, it was a merciful thing. Even though nobody likes giving up the land for someone else. But when there's a famine that great and tremendous, and plus he had wisdom enough to say, hey, only 20% of all the land will go to the Pharaoh and the rest of the 80%. So really he gave the land back to them, even though it's not written very clearly and like black and white on that, but it's there. So he did resolve the land issue uh, with that law which would be a constitutional amendment of today of what, what, what we would call that so you might say that Jewish people were the first people to do amendments of constitutional amendments because it, right here it's very clear that he made an amendment a, a constitutional amendment to protect the people but also for uh, to be still fair to the Pharaoh uh, for what he did for them through Yosef and only through Yosef and through God's influence on Yosef's life. See, God wants to do influence on our lives. So in these times of great trials and great famine and uh, great depression all over the earth that is occurring, uh, that we will be the wise ones. We will be the ones that will work out things in the proper way. When all these so-called politicians, snakes in the grass, will be lowered by God, God will raise up those few in the churches and synagogue in the kingdom of Israel to be the true leaders in these last days. Despite all these evil things that, that these ungodly politicians and those that say they are, but they're not, for the Lord's godly people will rise up in the church, in the synagogue, in the kingdom of Israel. And when it's time, they will take the reins. And people will say, where did these people come from? And we will say to them, from the Lord God Almighty, we're here to, to, to serve and make a difference in this world. Be ready for the Lord and get saved. And we will know what to do when it's time. For this is the way of the heritage of the Lord on our lives. To, to walk in, in his light and his heritage and all the history that comes to the Bible for the last days of today. So if you're not saved, today's the day of salvation. You know, he, he lived a perfect life. Yeshua, Hamshiach, Jesus, the anointed one, worked lived a perfect life. He did everything in the righteous way that the first Adam and Eve did not complete and do. He did. He followed all the ways of his heart that, that was correct. And then he died on the cross and through the death of the cross, through his death, his blood sacrifice on that cross, the last beautiful Lamb of God, he, he made that cross into a tree of life so that we can freely eat of that tree of life and say, Lord, we want that salvation. We want that deliverance. We want whatever you have for us. That that bloody cross is now that tree of life in our lives. Amen. So now 
if you're ready to get saved Arabs, you're ready to get saved great people of the East, people around the world, those of you that are Christians and Jews that are struggling and you, you went away, but God is a merciful God. And he's saying, come back to me, oh, you have heavy laden, for I will give you rest and rest abundantly above all you can think or act. Ask, for the Lord God loves you with a greatness that you can never count. For it is higher than than the shores under the sea, and much greater than all the stars of the sky. For the Lord God Almighty loves you that much. All the things he's done, all the things he shows in his word for your life, for your development, so that you can become a good son or daughter for the king of glory of heaven. In the halls of all, all of his halls, where all the angels, all the saints of God, your brothers and sisters, worship him in spirit and truth. And and they and all the beautiful things all over in heaven, the heavenly place. And God wants to someday make all this universe into heaven, like it is in the third heaven. For the Lord God Almighty loves you, and, and today is the day of salvation. The, you are being poked by the Lord and saying, Lord loves you. You're going to come to the cross now. You're going to realize the sins need to be nailed to that cross. So that the, the nailing of all those sins, all those iniquities, can be traded in for his sacrifice of love and holiness which become the tree of life for you that you can freely eat of. You can freely eat of the tree of life the cross became. But first you got to nail those things to the cross. Nail them and say, I don't want them. And say, you don't want nothing to do with this world. Be in the world, but not of the world. Amen. Are you ready to get saved? Just repeat this prayer with me. Praise God. Dear God Yahweh, then repeat the prayer. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. God loves you and I love you. Let me pray with you further. Father, I pray for the baptism of the Spirit of God to, to flow on them now. Flow on them. Oh, beautiful Spirit of God. We thank you. We praise you, you Holy One, oh the Spirit, cleanse them, make them whole, present them as, as God's children. I thank you, Father, for the other creations of God helping out in their curricular activities of being righteous in the Lord. And I thank you, Father, and I praise you, your holy name. Amen. We thank you, Father, for all these things. We praise your holy name. I bless them in Psalms 91. I bless them in, in reading of the, the word of Gospel John and, the, and Epistle 1 and 2 of John, if they like the third one too. And also Deuteronomy and Proverbs, the structure they need. I thank you and I bless them and I send them forth as my little brothers and sisters, as fellow heirs with the Lord. And I thank you and praise you. And shalom, our God's name. Our Yahweh, Yeshua, Jesus. Let's end with the Shalom prayer. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Holiness that brings peace to pass this all understanding be with you. May the peace of God be with you. May his light grow intensely in your life. May you be the salt of the firstborn through his death and resurrection of Yeshua, Jesus. And be the salt of the earth through that. May, your, may the blessings of God overtake you. May you be obedient to all the things of the word and the things that you have a hard struggle with. Go to the Lord and let his blood cleanse you of all unrighteousness every day. Shalom to you. Blessings of the Lord be with you. Amen. God loves you and I love you. Keep the faith and be strong in the ways of the Lord until we all see each other face to face. Shalom.